Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're getting into the Model Year 22 Wagoneer Series 3. If you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, before we get into the Wagner review, I am downtown with my brothers, Brandon and Tevin. Of course, fit checks are necessary. If you're ready for the review, please skip ahead. Okay, so for the first fit of the night, we have my brother, my favorite DJ, T Savage. Please explain to us what you're wearing. All right, um, to start off, I'm gonna start off with my Carhartt jacket. Um, vintage Detroit Carhartt jacket. As you can see, it's brown and uh, I would say tannish cream. Um, going on to my shirt, like one of my favorite shows is going to be the Anchor Man because I love scotch for sure. I actually got this one from Myers. Actually, it was a good deal. They have some shit in there if you look for it. Oop, excuse my language. But uh, if we're going on to the pants, don't really. The pants are just a pair of pants that I found. I just cut them up. So that's why you get this kind of lace. And then we got to go to. The dirty Neo okay. Geo Rick Owens Geo baskets. Those are nice. Yep. I ain't seen too many people with these, so no. I like them. So this is, you know, what I had on for today. It's a vibe. Yeah, it's me. I don't have my rings on or nothing like that. And then my sterling silver. Yes, sir. Chain, you know, it is. It's a vibe. Yeah, it's a vibe for sure. But that's me. Okay, and for the second fit of the night. We have my other brother, a garment connoisseur, also known as Hotty Cotty. Please let us know what you're wearing today. And I'm gonna keep it simple, you know. Light pair of Ramones. <clears throat> yes, sir. As you get, you know, as you go up, 90s, pair of Helmet Lane, okay. brown. Uh, the crew, thrifted. Little food stain right there. Nice crop. Uh, <clears throat> you know, a couple pieces, small pieces, class ring, smiley face, you gang if you got that, and unique glow, black jacket. Easy. Easy. Okay, and yours truly, today what we have on is, I'm wearing the Bozo Tractor Beetle Boots from the Spring Summer 2021 collection, Flagathon, also for the denim. I'm wearing Pierre Balmain denim. For the belt, this is a Bottega Veneta belt, all leather. For the tops, both acquired in Osaka, Urban Research, which is a wool and cashmere blend. Sweater, acquired from Converse Tokyo. Tokyo. Uh, Izemiyaki watch, purchased by the wife, I appreciate it. Um, and I got some Tiffany pieces, David Yurman. I'll talk about that in another video. And that's all for today. All right, let's get started. Uh, so here we have the Wagoneer, not the Grand Wagoneer, but the 5.7 liter uh, Series 3. Uh, this does, I just want to start with the front end. You get the classic Jeep grille, as well as you see there's a front facing camera here with a a few different sensors and radars in the front, which I will disclose later what those are for. We'll come around here to the left, and you can see we have the 22 inch polished aluminum wheels. And now we'll actually be getting straight into the actual car. Okay, so before we actually enter the car, I just want to point out as I open the door, we do have the power side steps, which is uh, very comfortable and convenient uh, stepping into a car this size. And I also want to point out what we have on the door of the driver's seat. You can see that we have the Macintosh speakers. There's 19 speakers without, throughout this entire unit. And we have our standard controls for the windows, locks, and movements for our rearview mirror. Push door entry gas cap. It has about a 26 and a half gallon tank. I believe gas is about 
about 350. You do the math, but that's the price you pay to drive big. <laughs> okay, and also I didn't show it earlier, but we do have the Wagoner key and as well as the lift gate, which so we're just gonna open her up and you can see how much space we have. As I was saying earlier, we can lift down the right rear seats for more space. And you can see I lift down the second row as well as the third row. This gives you an idea of just how much space we actually have. Okay, now that we're in the interior of the car, you can see that most of the vehicle is leather, trimmed in leather. And I'm sitting in the leather bucket seat, which is also susceptible to being heated as well as ventilation. And right in front of me being in the driver's seat, you can see that we have the Wagoner steering wheel with the flat bottom. And we have Wagoner spelled out in the center. We also have different controls that can control the uh, instrument cluster as well as controls for the adaptive cruise control. Another feature that won't show up on screen is our overhead display, which shows the speed limit of the road to run as well as the miles per hour. And if you're using GPS, turn by turn directions. Okay, now moving to the front center console, we have a multitude of different controls. You got the mute button, the engine stop start, the lane assist, traction control this is for our flashers this is for the self parking feature that we have so if i push here it will ask if you look up at the screen it will ask if i'm trying to do parallel parking perpendicular or exiting exiting a parallel parking space going back to the rest of the features we also have the control to choose the park assist the tow haul on and this feature here is to actually, which we'll get into a bit later, to turn on our front passenger display, which is over to the right, which you can't see from this angle, but I will show some image in the B-roll. Also, we have the bezel to control which gear we're in, which turns, which is pretty similar to what's on the Pacifica. You also have the ride type, whether for auto, sport, rock, sand, snow, and you also have the air suspension height as well. Moving back forward, you have these secret compartments. This is for our cups or whatever drinks you may have. A phone can easily fit in here as well. If we go back forward, we have another secret compartment here. This is where we usually keep our phone at. There is a Wi-Fi. A uh, charger for your phone. You can probably put your sunglasses in there as well. Moving back more part of the center console, we have another compartment here, which also has charging. If you open this up, which is one of my favorite features, we have a safe in the vehicle. So right now I just got my glasses in here, some tissues and my GoPro. Okay, and also we have our 10 inch radio screen. Right below it, we have hard buttons for the climate control. Uh, on the radio menu screen, you can go to different settings here. Of, of course, we have the navigation. Of course, again, the soft buttons for our climate control. And right now I'm connected to the media. We have two Wear TVs in the back. And you can see I'm right now, I have YouTube open on both of them. And you can control the rear TVs from the front screen. So I'm just gonna do a shameless plug. If you like the boots that I was wearing, be sure to watch my first video that I've uploaded on Snow Archaic. And here you'll be able to watch that and enjoy. As I was saying earlier, this button here from our control panel actually turns on our front passenger screen. And here you can control different apps that work with the rear screens in the back. And here you can see I'm watching my own YouTube video in the front passenger seat. You can see Brandon over here to the left and he's in the driver's seat. I'm gonna pass the camera to him and you'll see that there is a privacy screen here, and he would not be able to actually see the screen just for driver safety.
Okay, so again, we are in the rear of the Wagoneer. And one of my favorite features is you get, you get the privacy screens that you can pull up. And now I'm also sitting in the rear seat. If you come to the back, this particular Wagoneer has two captain chairs and not the bench seating. And again, we have the rear entertainment where I'm actually on YouTube. So what's also included is and I will show this in the B-roll. We have at the back of the center console, you get the controls for the HVAC in the rear. Both of the captain seats in the rear, they are actually also heated. So that's a nice feature for your passengers. Okay, now we're actually in the rear of the vehicle, the very the third row seats. And you can see, I may not have shown it earlier, but we get our own sunroof for the back here. And of course, these seats can fold all the way forward for more cargo space. Okay, as always, it was a pleasure having you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell just to get us rolling in the algorithm. And I will see you in the next video. Oh. And if I don't see you in the next video, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.